Oh, hey, what are you doing in here? You should probably leave. What happened last time? Nothing happened last time. What did, there was nothing. What did you hear? What did you hear? Uh, no, I mean, I mean, you know, Jay and Gil got me freed from the stone, and then we went up the mountain, got some stuff to find an artifact and uh, for the Empress, which is arguably a bad idea. And then we got through some puzzles with no problems at all, nothing of note that really, you know, happened in that, and then uh, now we're fighting this thing here. Uh, but I think we can take it. Not sure why Gil and Jay aren't really moving now, but hey, I guess I'll just have to roll with it. Welcome back to Just Roll With It. My name is Grizzly, and I'm the DM, and these are my players. My name is Bizzly. Lovers. And I play ch No, we're not, we're not that, we're not. That's the last episode, who can say, who can say? We're not, we're not, we're not. We're not, we're not, we're not. Yeah, lovers, we're lovers now. This is how it is, Stop. my name it's is, my name is Conda Fiction, and I play Jay Farron. My name is Charlie Slimesicle. And I play Gillian Tide Strider. Tide Strider. Among Us. <sighs> Don't say Among Us. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Jay Farron, and I am. Everybody? Sus. Where we last left off? Jay and the Freebirds! Hey. All the bands have been said. No more That's bands. Old. Okay, the man <laughs> bit's over. It's been, it's been fun. Love guys. it. Yeah, we're going to fucking rock this thing to death. Let's be real. <laughs> <laughs> you begin your advent your venture into the supposed temple located inside the mound of this island to retrieve a magic item for the empress and in return save your friends and hopefully the previous inhabitants of this island you first exclaimed your wishes for entering the temple and while not knowing which of them worked the stew the smooth stone opened into an entrance you then climbed broken steps up to a room filled with overgrown vegetation and a curious monstrosity on its ceiling. Due to its kind eyes and gentle nature, you were very reluctant to kill it. <laughs> and because you didn't, it carried you over a spike trap to the exit on the other side of the room. You said your goodbyes and healed Gertie, which you named this monstrosity, and headed into the next chamber that contained a chalk drawing of a proposal between a couple and an enchanting pond that causes Jay and Chip to fall in love with themselves and simultaneously hate, the, yeah, hate, hate each other. <laughs> <laughs> to open this chamber's exit. We did nothing. <laughs> we did. It just opened, it just opened. Just opened. The Gillian, chamber, the chamber just, just popped, just like that. Gillian popped and Chip no shared reason. a disturbingly perfect act of love <laughs> and the three of you proceeded up more steps into the next room. Here you found a coffin with a mummified skeleton holding a black, and gold compass. Chip attempted to swap out the compass for an item of similar weight, but the compass didn't budge, and the coffin slammed shut. And in the same instant, the coffin became the body of a huge plant-based monster. The glowing green gems taking the place of eyes and a skull on the face of the coffin sent a blast of magical energy towards you all as you met its gaze causing Jay and Gillian to once again feel the effects of your flesh turning to stone. And that is where we pick back up. Oh, Everybody, God. roll for initiative. Okay, Woo. baby. Natural one. Oh, no. <laughs> Natural 20, baby. 26. Oh, oh, shit. Natural one, baby. <laughs> for real? <laughs> yeah. Okay, guys. My, what see, are my, your... natural, my natural one is minus two, so I have a negative one. Oh, I have a four. All right, negative one for Gillian. That's true. That's very Four true. for Jay. And what's 26. the total on that, Chip? 26 for my man, Chip. And his oh, icicle oh, crutches. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> yeah. How did you let me go first in this? How am I faster than you guys? I don't know. You they, just have more they, initiative. You have they're, more... they're probably shocked by the effects of the blast and yeah. the stone. You have inertia. Um, <laughs> so, uh, Chip. Speed and power and weight. You're the you're the first up. This room, I should say, is about thirty by thirty feet uh, a cube. So you could use your whole movement to run from one end to the other end. And standing uh, now about fifteen feet away from you, 
uh, is this monstrosity who was on the end of the wall at first. You guys okay. are face to face, and it has just taken uh, this uh, this its action to, to basically send out this energy to everyone that was looking at it. Here, what if I hope you don't read your character sheet and use any underhanded tricks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's what I would like to do. Um, All right. I, I first want to take notice of uh, Jay and Gil. Are they in like? Is that are they are they stone? No, Jay. You look and you look at um, easy to tell. Jay and Gillian are restrained in the pose that they were. Um, when when the energy was first sent out, so <laughs> Gillian has the sword raised above his head, but he looks frozen uh, in in that pose, not yet quite turned to stone. You just see remnants of stone starting to crawl up the skin. Uh, Jay, same as same as well, having the the, the, the arrow knocked back. <laughs> stop, stop, oh stop, my god! Stop. He keeps putting the troll face on. <laughs> Charlie Audio keeps putting listeners, the troll face. you're better off. Uh, <laughs> so you see Jay uh, has the arrow knocked back and she's shaking. They're both uh, in this, in this, um, like they're fighting against the magical effects, but they can't quite move at the moment. Um, they are both restrained, but they're not completely stone yet. <laughs> He's upset. Okay, so um, is there anywhere I could like hide around any vegetation around me that maybe I could get down into and just kind of roll around the room? Like to try and sneak. <laughs> I, I, I want to I want to sneak attack the uh, the creature. Okay, just, I, I think remember you don't have to be hidden. You, you can don't sneak attack with him just walk feet, up to it and stab it. Oh, can I? In the fucking yeah, mud. Dude, read your sheet. As a swamp okay. buckler, you don't have to sneak it's you don't have to be sneaking to sneak attack. Yeah, you are no. a dirty fighter and you do much damage. Please kill it. We are on like episode 20. <laughs> and it's just, it's it's just We're on 21. Everyone. No, no, 22, right? 22. Yeah. 22. Yeah, we're on 22, baby. Yeah, we're on 22. Okay, so I wanna, I wanna, I wanna take these crutches and I wanna look at this monstrosity and just go, guys, battering ram, and I wanna like go <laughs> to push towards it really fast and then push Holy off shit. and slam my feet towards its head. You're gonna like drop kick. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> okay. Dude. So yes. uh, again, there is no. Uh, head of the creature. It is just the body of this coffin with a, a large skull, sort of. Um, as if the skull, like the coffin was carved to have the skull on it, and in the place of the eye sockets are two green gems. Uh, and it now has these monstrous, uh, overgrown arms, uh, limbs, essentially, of, of vegetation and other, you know, vines mm -hmm. and shit. Okay. So, uh, you could keep the coffin in the legs, whatever. You're basically going to try and drop kick the monster. Okay. Uh, is that still, on? that should still be unarmed? Yeah. Or it's a stone and arm now. It's, <laughs> I think it's unarmed. Roll, roll, okay. Un roll, 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 and I'll give you a, I'll give you a different damage die for it. Okay. Because you're stone. Just roll to see if you oh, hit. Oh shit, that's a nine. You miss. I, I okay, I do that in hopes that maybe they will um they will like propel me, but they don't move and I land on the ground between <laughs> them. It's still here. Oh I said you battery ram. I'm 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 still I'm, we're just stuck here. I I can't oh, uh, shit. I uh, can't. Yeah, uh, uh, it uh, felt uh. like a cool idea, though. <laughs> okay, well, what now? I just lay there. <laughs> I, I, I guess if I were you, I'd probably use my bonus action. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's probably you a good idea. A little you better. lay there. Attack him. But I, what do I know? I'm stone. <laughs> you're laying there, uh, and the monstrosity now is just towering over you. Um. You do still have uh, bonus action and movement. Uh, I, I, you just missed. You didn't go prone or anything. I reach my sword up and I'm just like. <clears throat> Are you making B uh, noises? I'll try it with the chain. No. Uh, stay right there. Uh, so just swinging it like a ball and chain, except it's a sword and chain. I need, I need a minute. I need a break. This is the most painful status effect ever been applied to me. I just have to watch this. Jay, Jay, you got any kind of snacks? I reach into Jay's pocket. I'd like to use my bonus action to search Jay's pockets. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> Slide of hand check. Uh, no, I can't, she can't resist. We're, okay, we're that's a 23. Okay, you take a rash, and I guess. You guys, you guys okay? <laughs> Instead in your turn. What a, what, a, what a great roll. What, what a good so, roll. It could be used for anything. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
Jay. What do I get from your buckets? You got rations. Oh, I just okay, okay. I just get those. All right. I was just grabbing around, seeing what I could get from you. Next up, Jay. My turn. Really? I somehow okay. I'm gonna try to get out of this. Thirteen. Uh, thirteen. Can't save. So, by the way, the way that this works is it, this will be at the end uh, of your turn. This uh, uh-huh. this con save to, to resist the effects. So, okay. uh, you with this save, you do succeed, but you can't do anything for the rest of your turn. Okay. But okay. is there anything I can actually do while in this state? I'm guessing not, right? Basically, uh, you have no speed. Uh, you can't move at all. You can't shoot. You could have shot. Oh, so, if you do want to take your... Um, yes, but you have this advantage. Can I cast a spell? Yes, but you have this advantage. Well, good thing it's not actually... It's just a verbal spell that doesn't do anything until I attack, so I'm casting Hunter's Mark Okay. on on the coffin. Alrighty, yeah. So you, you can turn. attack, but you have to attack from this range, which is about 15 feet back from the oh, creature Oh shit, wait. Moment. I can still attack, this is my bonus second. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a shot at this guy. Okay. Um, it's so painful, because you're resisting a bunch of stone, but... Okay, so I got mage. Yeah. All right, you miss. Uh, the arrow goes wide. Yeah, so I, I managed to just barely will in enough to like pull my arm back and flip it. But yeah. But with thirteen, uh, you do, in the spell's uh, effects, and the stone again shatters and crumbles off of your skin. You feel relieved as uh, you no longer feel restrained or, or taken by uh, the, the spell. So I, you're I good. Shake, you I break shake free. The stones off. Yeah. However, Gillian Todd tried to. Gillian dies right there. Unless you would like... No, you use your action and bonus action. It is your turn, Gillian. What's up? Oh, shit. Okay, cool. Um, I am going to uh, use my action to cast uh, Bless. So I have this uh, fucking sword raised over my head. Just yeah. going to try and... Yeah, it's in a way. Yeah, all right. I, mm-hmm. yeah I want to cast uh, Bless on uh, all of us bless with my you. action. So... Bless on yourself? What that means is, yeah, on myself, on Jay, and on ship. Um, gotcha. Because they're all gotcha. within 30 feet. So all of them, whenever they make an attack roll or a saving throw, they add a d4 to it now. Attack roll, saving throw, add a d4. Gotcha. Add a d4 to your attack roll, saving throw. Uh, and that is going to be it. I'm now going to try the, uh, the saving Con throw. save. Con save. Con save. Here we go. Okay. An A plus three is 11, but plus the d4... Is a uh, is it is a twelve? Cool, great. That bless saved your life. <laughs> Did it actually? <laughs> the DC is twelve. Let's and go. if you failed, you would be petrified until freed by greater restoration. Oh, oh fuck! God. So God. the danger here, if you had kept that eleven, Gillian would be a stone statue. Until we. Brought but I'm back, not probably. a stone statue. I'm the fucking one, and, and you there break is free. evil among us. In <laughs> <God laughs> my turn, <laughs> as you say that, and you resist uh, the stone, which is which is starting to, to almost take hold of all of your flesh. You strike the pose, and it all shatters, breaks, explodes off of your skin. Yeah, baby. And now it is the creature's turn. God, I'm glad I'd use plus. <laughs> the creature. <laughs> yeah. Swings its its uh, arms made of bundles of vines, almost like a large tree trunk, a green tree trunk, and swings it towards uh, Chip. Still on the ground, trying to get up. Eating much <laughs> of <my> fucking ration. <laughs> oh my god! Like, uh, does a does a my breath, I twenty non natural hit your AC? I'm assuming it does. Yeah, it does. Alrighty then, you take nine points of piercing damage. Shit, danger! And one point of poison damage. Fuck! How are you looking? Bad. How much damage have you taken? Total. Maybe, wow, maybe it's just nagged in the... Are those, Bro, are those I, electrolytes I would, helping? Are the I, electrolytes I, helping? Yeah, that was pretty good. Wow! Yeah, Chip gets slammed uh, <laughs> uh, with these vines and vegetation and gets fl- not necessarily flung from where he was, but he gets flattened once again. Um, Let me choke our raisin. <laughs> next, next up is going to be Chip. Are these vines reaching out? Its or limbs are, are made of like, uh, limbs. overgrown, okay. really thick wanna... vines and stuff, yeah. I want to it kind of like looks over, like it elongates whenever he attacks, but hobble over to the side and then and then do like two, two strikes down. Go ahead, roll hit. So that first one is gonna be. Don't a, forget you add a d4. You add a d4 to this roll. A 24 to hit. 24 hits. Let's go. All roll right. Roll damage. 18 damage total. Uh, no sneak attack on the second one. 
Only one okay. per turn. Okay. Uh, and I would also like to um, gotcha. fall to the ground and roll away out of attack range. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Fancy That's forward, baby. How much damage total was that? Uh, um, and um, that turn. Nine, uh, 18. Right on. Okay. Next up, Jay. You're free hey. from the stone. Okay. Um, hey, Chip. It's battering ram time. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm sneaking. Okay, what are you guys doing? I'm gonna, I'm gonna tie, I'm gonna tie a rope around Chip's chest underneath his shoulders. No, it can't see me. It's Stop, nice guys! Snug, it can't see nice me. I'm sneaking. Snug. I'm sneaking. <laughs> Would that be a bonus action or an action? Do you think? I'll let you tie him up for a free action. Awesome. I'm gonna do that. <laughs> oh, I just want to see him weaponized so bad. <laughs> I look towards Gil and I give him a knowing nod. <laughs> I give a nod back. <laughs> and no, you guys using your turns together? Uh, no, it's as, not my turn yet, but. Yeah, I'm, I'm just setting him up for his turn and like a So pseudo. you're holding an action to assist Gillian uh, with this? Yes. To help, to help Gillian yeah, with this? Yeah, fuck it. Fuck okay. it. Can, wait, if I, if I hold the action to assist, can I apply my hunter's mark damage? I will say, I will say you can. Okay, But cool, Gillian will be rolling it. to hit with this. Yes, that is fine. Okay, then, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna hold I'm gonna hold my action to assist. But both of you, I'm assuming both of you guys, you're about to attack with Chip as the weapon. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Gillian, you're so. up. What now, what you say? What you say? That if I grab him by the stone or the rope, the chip is an improvised melee weapon. <laughs> <laughs> Are you gonna smite with me? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah, I'd say. Yes. You're gonna yes, smite I with me. Am. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. If, Go can, for can it. I have Jay? I want Jay to push him, give him a little momentum, and then I want to buy the rope, like swing him like up and around, and just fucking slam him <laughs> into slam this the creature. stone feet. I'm not gonna have toes. <laughs> and I'm, I'm trying to figure out what to roll to see if you chip chip. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> listen, listen, it's magic. Too late. We're it's going fine. for it. Uh, and of course, we I'm going to use. Toes. I'm gonna use divine smite. I'm gonna use my last spell slot, and I'm gonna use Divine Slight. Uh, is this is this thing, by any chance, an undead or fiend? I'm going to say that it's not undead or fiend. This creature specifically. Okay, that's fine. It seems um, uh, you can you can try and ascertain what this is if you make a, a check on a different turn. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I am. Is it what the fuck attack roll is this? Just like a. a uh, it's an improvised weapon, so I think it's a okay. strength based weapon, right? So you would just roll. Yeah, uh, I'll, I'll just add what I usually do. Uh, okay, 13 plus 6 is 19, plus a d4 as well. That it's going to be 23 to hit. Go how ahead. how much uh, how much damage does a uh, chip, how much does a chip do? What should I roll for him? Do 1d10. 1d10? 1d10 is easy, yeah. <laughs> you're really, you're really giving us good Stone. 1d10 stone. Okay, I got a, I got a 5 on the d10, plus divine smite is going to be 2d8. Seven, yeah, okay, 17. 17 damage with this, with the chip strike? With yeah. a ship strike, 17. 17 damage. Does that is that included with the smite? Yeah, I rolled really bad. So, all right, how do you tell what is me this that... like? What does smite chip look like? Yeah, can you? How do you tell <laughs> me that this is happening? Okay, okay. So what I want it to be like is Gillian lights up. His hair starts glowing as well. His eyes glow. This lightning flows out of them. His coral glows as well. And as he moves this rope around, the energy moves up the rope. And Chip's like fucking buzz cut stands up, and his like face also Wait, begins do, to do glow. Do I not have a chance to like speak about this before you swing do me? Do you wanna? Or? Do you wanna? I mean, I mean, I thought maybe you would explain how you're swinging me and Absolutely smiling with me. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I'm just grabbing you. Wait. Okay. All right. Fine. Hey, Chip, Chip, it's time to be so the hero high. you were meant to be. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Boom! <laughs> <laughs> Gillian in the Tide Striders, bitch! <laughs> With a loud kaboom, it cracks onto the onto the skull of the gems uh, of this creature's face. And as it does, one of the gems dims. Its glow no longer emanating the same light, and you can see a crack form on that eye. One of the eyes still lit, though. Not like Sans, because it's not blue, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Sans? I caught well, myself. If you didn't say that, if you did not well, emphasize that, I started okay. to envision what it looked like. I could only see Sands, bro. Now I just spread the curse. Now it's Sands in my head. It wasn't before. Sorry. It wasn't Anyways, before. Uh, okay. You do a ton of uh, damage to it. Yeah, and then uh, that is going to end my turn. I'll, I'll use a free action to say, everyone stand back. Let me take the hits. 
That's what I'll do. <clears throat> okay. I, I'm still behind Gil. Yeah. <laughs> cool. And um, Chip, as you Sorry, feel, Chip. <laughs> well, you don't you don't feel any pressure or anything, but I want you to make a con save. Oh lord. Okay. You know, I'm just saying this would be a cool way to get a bag. <laughs> Ten. 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 I'll roll. I'll roll against it. I didn't even get to go to the bathroom yet. If I lose the ability, I'll be really mad. You're never gonna be able to pee. <laughs> okay. Oh god. Oh no. That's Nothing okay. on your lower body cracks. Or shadows. Oh, okay. oh, I roll for it. I roll for it. I rolled a three to your ten. That's but lucky. Just so okay. you know. I want this. Yeah, I want his stone legs to glow with like this divine <laughs> power when he slams into. Yeah, this I would thing. chalk it up to because you were imbued with the divine smite energy. It kind of strengthened the exterior. But if you do it again, we'll roll again. Draw. That's super my no, turn. I'm That's good. super my turn. That's so my, right, That's my, my turn. My turn's over. Uh, next up is the monster's turn. Gillian, as you stand there with your chest puffed out and your weapon ready, it takes yeah, a, a large, uh, a massive sweeping swipe towards you. With uh, with its natural twenty. <laughs> oh, <fuck>. Shit. <laughs> okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine, guys. This is what I do. We take these. We take these. We take these. Everything's good. Everything's good. Uh, how how bad? How bad? How bad? What's, it, what's the both of its 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 uh its its vine arms uh rear back and then come in for a tambourine slam on both sides of your body. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you take ten points of piercing damage. That's what I the okay. thorns of the vines and ten points oh. of poison Ooh. damage. Okay, all right, not super, not that, not super awesome, not super awesome, boys. Not looking too great. That's half my health, you know. Once the once the two uh, yeah, the two fine. limbs separate to reveal Gillian again, both of you see that he is now dripping and his blood from small uh, thorn-like piercing holes uh, in his skin, all on his body. So is that all you got? And some of some of this purple liquid is coming out of his well, seeming to be poison. Same thing that you had experienced, Chip. So you're saying that Gillian said, hang on, guys, let me take all the damage. Whoosh! And they got <laughs> slammed, yes. <laughs> all right, I mean, next up. Uh, actually, Chip, it's your turn. All right, with one sword hanging back, slam it into the wall, throw myself up, and propel my sword try and go through one of the branches and then as I'm moving past it, try and like slice with the other one. Okay, roll to hit. Both attacks. Alright, so that is, that's gonna do 8 damage. Gotcha. And then uh, I want to once again try and roll out of range. <laughs> it's a funny visual. Fancy roll. Jay, you're up next. My turn. Okay. Um, I'm actually gonna help Chip get up for once, I think, quickly. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. I'm gonna run to Chip and, like, get him stood up. Hey, sorry about throwing you. Um, <laughs> I'll let you do that, Em. <laughs> it's over, Ares! I've got you this time! Foolish mortal, I have reigned terror upon this realm for centuries. Many like you have tried, and all have failed! What makes you think you can defeat me. Your arrogance is gonna be your end, Ares, because I have the sword of destiny. Oh shit, for real? Prepare to die. That's dope, where'd you get that? What? The sword, where'd you get it? I, uh, I bought it online. The Hero Online Store. Oh, that must have cost a fortune. Aren't we supposed to be fighting now? Okay, but like, how much was it, ballpark? Okay. I mean, it wasn't bad. I, I used honey and saved like 86 bucks. How does bee liquid save you money? No, okay. So it's like, you know how there's always that coupon code thing at the checkout? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, so Honey is like this free browser extension that will search the internet automatically and put the coupon code in there and give you the best deal. What? Yeah, I mean, if, if you don't already have Honey, you could be straight up missing out on free savings. Yeah, I mean, when you put it like that. It's literally free and installs in a few seconds. And by getting it, you'd be doing yourself a solid and this podcast. What, what podcast? The one that we're in, right now. Oh, yeah. Huh. And, and this honey, you actually use this? I mean, yeah, I'd never recommend something I don't use. I guess, I guess that's fair. Look, why don't you give it a try? I mean, you can get honey right now for free at joinhoney.com slash jrwi. That's joinhoney.com slash jrwi. Why did you have to say that twice? What do you mean? I mean, I heard you the first time. Why did you say it the second time? Oh, it's because it's in my talking points. I have to, I have to say that. 
Oh, right. Yeah. So, uh, we gonna fight now? I mean, I was gonna go shop online. I mean, you just, you just talked about it so much. Yeah, yeah, no, no I, I, I get it. I get it. Uh, so should I just go? Oh, what was that? Sorry, I just got a new hell couch. Okay. Okay, yeah, sure. I'm gonna knock two arrows because, you know, next level I'm gonna I get an extra attack. So. I would say this is the first time you've ever knocked two arrows. I'm gonna try something crazy now. <laughs> I grabbed two crazy than knocking two arrows. <laughs> <laughs> this has never been done before. I guess don't knock it till you try it. And she's she's not she's wait. She's trying it or not you're doing she's doing she's both at the same time. She's knock knocking it and, it and try. trying it. I blast them off. I can't All see right. what it is. Roll 17 plus 1d4. This already hit, so you're good. Uh, so it's 11 plus 7, because I have Colossus Slayer as well. So 18 damage fall. Ooh. Ooh. Alrighty. Uh, Colossus Slayer is a, is a monster that's bigger than you, I'm guessing? I forget. Uh, Colossus Slayer is once per turn when you hit a creature with a weapon attack, the creature takes an extra d8 damage if it's below its maximum HP. Gotcha. Okay, 18 damage so all? An, yeah. That's so crazy. the way... The way I, I, I shoot, one of them goes slower, and they both, like, pierce the same spot, and they pierce each yeah, other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alrighty, uh... Just, like, doubles it. That's, that's how I want to flavor the Colossus Slayer, at least. Beautiful. Your vision, uh, the, the target is the only thing lit in this room. The rest of the, the, the environment is just in the shade of red as you are marked. This, this is the creature that you will kill as the hunter. Next up, Gillian. I'm going to jump on it. Yeah, pull out the immovable rod. Oh my god. <laughs> and I want to open the coffin, stick it in, and click the button, and then well, jump off. Make a strength check to open the coffin. Coffin. Can this guy? It is slammed uh, shut, and it will what, not what be are, easy. What are the open. chances? What are the chances you'd let me make this little maneuver athletic since I'm jumping up onto it? What are the chances? All right, I'll just make a strength. I'll make a strength. Twenty-two. It's a struggle, but you managed to pry open this this coffin, uh, which seemingly was being shut uh, magically. Yep. And I fucking uh, you're this holding thing in it there. open as it's still trying to mm -hmm. close and you and you throw it in there and what? What happens? Not yet, buddy. I throw it in there, click it so uh, it can't move, and then I want to uh, <laughs> I want to do a sick do a sick flip off uh, and, and <laughs> okay. roll. Um, it's going to get an an opportunity attack on me, but I basically want to run out of its range. So now that it's 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 basically stuck there. It's right, 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 right. You Okay, so the, the coffin slams shut as soon as you remove uh, your hands and leaving the immovable rod clicked in place inside the coffin. Now, 11 doesn't hit your AC, right? It does not. Okay, then you get away. Scott, free! Okay, cool. I, I, I do chips maneuver and I just barrel roll on the ground <laughs> out of it. <laughs> All right, I'll say that'll be your I locked it in place. Stay out of range and we should be good to finish it off. That's what I'll say. Um, and that is gonna end my turn okay next up is the creature's turn as the <laughs> coffin slams do. shut it tries to lumber forward and you all hear the sound of a rod crushing uh <laughs> <laughs> the skeleton inside and 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 uh hitting the back of, the, of this this coffin stone and it starts to move and then it tries to lumber back and then the coffin door uh, sort of bulges open a little bit, but doesn't open quite. So it's just kind of moving in this, yes! this small space. I, I as, imagine it sounds like a xylophone in there with the bones. Just, <laughs> yeah, it, as, as it's basically uh, the, the rib cage and whatnot. Well, look uh, out, look out, Jay, it's taking your spot in the band. Oh. You see the creature raise both of its limbs up and slam it into the ground. And as it does, some of the vines start to, to 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 elongate and grow and mix within uh the stone and uh and, and the vegetation that's on the ground itself i need uh everybody here to make a strength saving throw okay I'm boys good at add, that, add that d4 add that d4 boys that's gonna probably save me uh 15 for me 24 okay. 12. okay okay uh <laughs> you guys see uh, Chip, where you're standing, um, all of you see that the vines uh, start with these these thick red thorns uh, start to crawl up uh, your, your skin and your limbs. Uh, but Jay and Gillian, you swipe away, cutting them uh, free and, and moving away from where they're growing. Chip, however, they start to move up the stone of your legs and you're not feeling anything because your legs are stone. <laughs> I think it's jumping around. 
<laughs> so he can't even do anything. He's just a stupid box. <laughs> what are you gonna do, you stupid box? Oh, ooh, Nature, come get look me! Look down! Look ooh, down! Come get! Oh shit! Ship, it's, it's vines. <laughs> the vines wrap around your lower uh, body. However, in this moment, you are restrained, but you don't take damage from the thorns because your lower body is made of stone. Nice. <laughs> so you can't oh, move. We don't take damage. Talk about fucking just Lucky. working out there. <laughs> yeah. <I'm... laughs> All right. Lucky man. Uh, in that case, next up, Chip. All right, I'm gonna use my bonus action strike to, to try and cut these before I do All right, anything go else. Ahead. Oh shit, that's gonna Don't be- Don't forget, you out of D4. Yeah, four. That's gonna that's be cool. a 13. Roll, just either athletics or acrobatics. Cause you're basically uh, cutting the 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 the, blah, blah, blah. the vines as they're, they're growing up and trying to restore themselves as you're cutting them away. Okay. So at the same time as while you're, while you're hitting it, you have to make like a, a strike <clears throat> to get away from it. Right, acrobatics 29. That's natural. what I'm saying. Oh yeah, totally, totally good. You free yourself uh, from this, um, essentially an entangle spell. What do you hold your action to do? I want to kind of like hobble over towards the middle, and I want to say, can somebody grab my legs and swing me at it? Uh, yo, it fucking kill, yeah, Killian fucking puts his sword down. He's ready to go. All right, I want to hold, my, sprint towards I wanna hold my action to attack. When Gillian swings you, gotcha. That's awesome. Jay, That's awesome. your turn, what do you do? Oh, I'm trying to think of something cool a, I can A lot do of now. the uh, the vegetation, I know I keep saying that, but that's all I can think of. The vines, uh, the, what it's made of, the parts of its body, its limbs, they are breaking, following, falling off of its body and withering as it hits the ground. And it can't move from where it is. Regular shot with bow. Go, Go. for it. <laughs> uh, 13 plus D4. I will say it is looking, it, it is looking rough. 15 is the AC. Okay, so you I hit. hit. Yep. Uh, 14 damage. Gotcha. The arrow strikes true, and at this point, Truly. one of the uh, the arms that is attaching itself uh, to the to the coffin, the body of the coffin here, goes completely limp, and whatever was ad adhesing using itself using an adhesive to keep itself on or, or wrapping around this coffin to create these limbs, that arm uh, falls clean off, and it looks uh. Like it's struggling to not only move from its spot, but to just keep it up in general. To keep Fuck it yeah. stand uh, stood up in general. Fuck so, yeah. okay. Gillian, unless you have anything else you'd like to do, Jay, it is your turn. Okay, One all second. right, it's my turn. Um, yeah, you're good, yeah. I'm gonna take Chip, and I'm just gonna fucking throw him at the coffin. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> okay. No, 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 I'm swing me. <laughs> <laughs> Sail! Bam. Just roll, roll an athletic check to throw uh, in his okay. head first roll. this time. Uh, I got a nine. Yeah. Hey, okay. Plus four. Deep Chip, roll, roll with this. All right. It's, oh wait, is this an attack roll or an athletics check? It was an athletic check. Okay, yeah, so nine. Because okay. you're throwing, you're not making. All oh, right, yeah, it's not a sin. Chip it's is not making sin, the attack. Okay, so make the attack. Yeah, I was gonna say make it with advantage, Ooh. but since he failed his ath athletics check, you just make a straight roll. So we're gonna add that that definitely hits. Baby. 26 to hit. 20 hits. Uh, yeah, it hits. Absolutely, dude. Okay, so that is going that. to do 18 damage. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Chip, how do you want to do this? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> it is your I wanna, destiny, Chip. I wanna, I wanna be holding my two swords out like that, and I just wanna, I wanna be like getting, I wanna like lay on the ground, like a, like just like like this, like. All right, now just, now just let me go. Just, or just throw me. Or like swing me. And he goes to pick me up and throws me. I said, no, 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 wait, I'm in swing. And as, and, and as I'm going, I want to sail like a, like a large arrow. You know, Jay, Jay led the shot with that little baby one and I was the true arrow. And I want to go slamming into this thing. You push just the arrow in. Yeah. It. yeah. <laughs> All right, you, it's sent flying Gillian in his warrior induced <laughs> excitable state throws you into the coffin and your swords pierce the very stone, the gems of the eyes of the coffin itself, shattering both of them. And as this happens, woo! you get flung over, uh, kind of flip over it <laughs> uh, and land on your back on the other side. Uh, what? Both of your swords probably still stuck in uh, the coffin as it, mm -hmm. the limbs of the, of this creature, 
fall immediately. The coffin's bottom hits the ground and then falls onto its back again. Uh, and combat is over. Oh. Hey, Jay, you got any more raisins? Yeah, I do, actually. Pass him his way. I, I, I just like grabbing him. Doing the... I lob one the chip. <laughs> Yeah. I go to give you a pretzel, but then uh, pretzel reaches up and I give it to her instead. More, more, more raisin. <laughs> I, I can only give you. Jane, These are supposed Jane. to last for. Just come, come close. I don't have much time. Okay, okay, okay. It's okay. Jane. I give, I give him three uh, more raisins. Uh, uh, Jane. <laughs> Chip he needs a raisin. Jane. Listen, there's so many raisins in there. I need, I need more. I gave yeah. you, I gave you five, I gave you five packages of military rations. We're not going to make it out of this one, Jay, not all of us. What do you mean? What do you mean it's dead? It's dead, we killed it, you no, 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 Jay, thrown no. at it twice. No, Jay, you're wrong. You're so wrong. No. So, Gil, Jay. I think we leave Chip. So, I think Chip's the one who no, dies don't, here. No, Jay, don't do that. Jay, don't, no, <laughs> Jay, don't, Jay, don't do that. Jay, I, I, Keely's help me up. I, I stand him up. <laughs> <sighs> okay, cool. Okay, what now? Well, all I that, all that for this compass. I, 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 I want to yeah. see if it, if it opens. I want to unclick the immovable rod, put it back in my briefcase, and um. Yeah. Really, and just I not guess gonna give it to up, her. I mean, pick up the compass. It's just a compass. Well, so Gillian, you you approach the coffin now as yeah. Jay helps chip up. It opens easily like a normal coffin, and inside you can see that uh, parts of the skeletal mummified figure, uh, uh, the ribs are broken, the arms are still intact where the shoulders were placed, uh, the head is still there. Some of the legs are a little disor like <laughs> discombobulated. <laughs> uh, a lot of the jewelry that it was that it was wearing has been fallen off onto the ground, but it's still holding the compass, and you're still. If you go to grab it, it does release pretty easily. I wanna wonder I wanna, who this was. I wanna hobble over. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead and have your serious conversation with her. Oh, I was just gonna, I was oh, just I gonna thought... say, who, who was this before their fate led them here to this tomb? Is, it, is there anything like on this person, a skeleton, at all besides this? Compass? I, jewel, there's lots I of grab jewelry, a bone. Right? I grab a bone. Okay. Yeah, a lot, you rob a bone. Uh, lots of golden jewelry. Yeah. Shit. Why not? The face Money. completely uh, was like wrapped, wrapped, uh, as well as some of the the body. I say mummified skeleton. Like it was, you know, supposed to be wrapped up, but over time the wraps himself probably just decayed. Hmm. Uh, did we, the did jewelry, we the, the jewelry, jewelry, however, it's still polished, shining. We looks, as, looks new. We have our our boon. Maybe we leave this body as in peace as we can hey guys hey, look right. and i'm holding up the bone to like my midsection <laughs> and there it is and just and smiling there it is. at him okay got a boner oh my fucking god come on we, come on, we did it it's yeah, fine we, we won we have no idea what what culture we're trampling on right now this could have been some ancient leader as you're saying that i'm just yeah. i'm just playing kind of like important important I'm taking figure the two, the two bones They're, and playing his other limbs like a xylophone yeah. Life was probably he so is, important. Is, this is the guy who asked us. This is the guy who asked us if we were ready to take a life if we had to. Yep. Yeah. That was a, that was a very important question. Ooh, maybe we should put him on xylophone. I think I could be a guitarist. Or hey, a don't step what were on you? my bass, Jay. Yeah. And put down the bones, Chip. <sighs> okay. Okay. Fine. I mean, I could be on the drums. Oh God! Oh God! He stopped <laughs> defiling the body. Sorry, 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 sorry. Okay. Look. Well. Hand me the hand me the, the compass quickly. Of course. This is it. Pass it to him. All right. Yeah. You <sighs> hand him over the compass. Black Why and gold. Why want this? I click it open. Are you inspecting the compass at this point? And yes. Click, click yes. I don't want to know if roll. I knew anything about it beforehand or if I can sense. Roll perception check. Okay. Three. <laughs> you don't see anything uh, other than just the compass itself. You're not really paying attention, apparently. Perhaps there's some magic inside of it. I did sense but, some magic coming off of it. But if this never, is what it takes, 
E Free this place. Soggy waffles. Gillian, Gillian looks shocked. Gillian looks shocked. Why? Already I, died. I've already done it so much. Here, Jay, do you understand anything about this? Uh, can I take a closer look? Yeah. yeah, yeah, you can make your perception check on it as well. Or perception investigation, you, you can choose. Uh, yeah. investigation it is. Gillian Time Starter does not make an investigation check. 22. <laughs> Finally, a yeah. good roll. She pans it over. It's still open. It is this, uh, like a normal compass uh, would normally be just like a handheld object. This one is more of like a box that you do kind of open. Uh, and, uh, inside of the cap, as you're inspecting it, it looks like a fancy, um, very well-crafted compass with little uh, like um, patterns that are... Uh, etched or, or painted sort of into the into the underneath the the compass's uh, dial itself or its mechanisms mm -hmm. and stuff you can sign, you see like a, a faint bit of the gears underneath and even at the bottom it kind of says like uh like a, like a tiny little meter uh showing whether um it's night or day based on that whether however it's tuned uh wow. but something catches your eye that looks very familiar Inside the cap of the compass, you read the initials carved in underneath of it, and they they read N K N K, and you immediately recognize these initials because they're the same initials tattooed inside the crescent moon on the wrist of Gillian Tide Strider. No way. <laughs> Wait a minute, I grab Gil's arm. And then I look at <laughs> I look at the, the yeah. compass in the arm I'm like Same initials. Same font. Use the same typeface and everything. My god. Whoa, what? No what mistake. is it? Size ten. Comic sans. <laughs> <laughs> it's not common sense. Niklaus Kendricks. It appears there's more desires. He's granted that have led to terrible things. No, but Niklas's last name starts with an H. That's a K. It's not the same. Kendricks. I thought it was, was Kendricks. Kendricks? Holy so, crap! I thought it was Hendricks the whole was, time. No, 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 no. Was it Hendricks or Kendricks? It is Niklaus Hendricks. Niklaus oh. is spelled N-I-K-L-A-U-S. So he just uses uh, the first two. Uh, he like just uses the, the first yeah, name. Thought, he signed, yeah. it is, it is signed in K, but not in H. If Chris. he had his hands on this, there's no way it was good. I would even say it led to perhaps the death of this person. Maybe many others. I don't know who this person was. Can I investigate the, the actual coffin to see if this person is anyone of significance, maybe? Very much significance. It looks like this entire place... Uh, just by uh, looking at the coffin and how well it's made, crafted, uh, there was a magical stones embedded into the skull on the face of it. That uh, if you if you want to roll an arcana, arcana check quickly, um, I probably wouldn't be the best person to roll an arcana check. I guess just like a, I mean, oh, natural twenty. I am fucking magician. Holy shit! Holy shit! Twenty two. Okay, yeah, no, you immediately gather just ins inspecting the the coffin itself. This and. This compass has in intense magical energy concentrated in it. And the two gems that were placed on the coffin inside the eyes of the sockets of the skull were also incredibly magical. Grizzly, where is the compass pointing? Well, hold on. Bisley, uh, or sorry, Chip, you gather that this whole uh, area this temple or tome tomb was built to house this uh passed on person so very very significant apparently oh i think this guy's important i start putting his bones back together sorry and also say. um i mean with the same uh arcana and check the there's magical uh is a magical aura that it fades as you watch vines that were behind where the coffin was mounted on the wall start to decay and wither and then eventually just disintegrate revealing the exit to this room as well guys i think i think this vine thing was just trying to protect it stop it from evil people getting it you know like the person who sent us here to get it and well 
are we much better to hold on to something like this? I mean, I look towards Gil, who has a pact kind of deal I have deal no going. reason to believe this, this compass could cause any good. Right. Once again, though, I, just, I would like... I mean, we okay. killed Who's holding thing. the compass? I, I am right now. I think. Well, I thought Gil was. I thought, okay. Uh, no, no, I, 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 I had it in my hand because I was taking it from it. me, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I don't yeah. Think I am. So, like, I don't think are, I am. are we the bad guys? No. I don't well, we just think killed so. this thing and stole this thing for a bad person. I think well, that kind of makes us bad this, guys. We could free this island, but I believe we are learning more now. It's morally gray. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> uh, I would like to look at where this compass is pointing. Okay, uh, you attempt to use this compass, uh, and you can feel a bit of its magical energy start to, um, it kind of makes your arm numb as you hold it and try oh. to use it. The compass spins quickly at first, almost like a clock, uh, as the hands are going around and around. The compass points slightly northeast, and as you try and move it, it stays in the same direction, changing, uh, as needed. But it points the same way. I don't really get it. It's just kind of pointing northeast. I mean, That's strange. I, uh. Gil, here, you. Take it, why? I guess. Yeah, I take it. I take it. <laughs> I'm gonna go <laughs> check out the skeleton. Okay. I'm not yeah, actually I'm gonna roll looking, for anything. I'm just gonna just look, look at it. I'm just looking. Yeah, I'm just looking at the compass. Okay. Yeah, I try and use it. It points north. It shifted a little. Here, Gil, what? I don't think you should be holding that. <laughs> Can't get the joke. <laughs> We're all okay. <laughs> and as you as you guys are handing this off um, to each other, you can feel the the magical energy that numbs your arm at phase as you let go of it uh, and stop using it. I Chip, you do the same thing. I don't really attempt to use it. I don't know that they're using it for anything. I just take it. If you're just holding on to it and you don't uh, try to use it to get somewhere, then it just continues to spin. What is this thing? I mean, it's not a compass, but like, how much do you think this is worth? I don't think we should sell it. No, no price worth paying. But maybe the salvation of everyone here. Well, that's a price, technically. You know, salvation for everyone. Big mansion boat, you know. Prices. Um, we can talk about it on the way down, but. I do, I do worry now that she will use this. No, no. I worry too. Trust me, I'm, I'm, I'm joking. We got a lot of treasure, like a shit ton of treasure. Uh huh. You do have the briefcase. You gotta find oh, a way do. to use this against her, but I don't know what it does. Well, here's what I know: it, it pointed in a different direction for me and Gil. And it's spinning in circles for you for some reason. And and with Niklas, you said that he was all about desires and every all about daddy desire. That's him. That's a weird thing to say. <laughs> that is a weird thing to say. Actually, actually say he he said it. He proclaimed himself as it. That is almost weirder. So what if it? No, it is. No, it's points. like I'm the champion of the undersea. He's the the daddy of desires. I don't make all the titles. What if it points in the direction of what you desire most? Hmm. And why would it chip? You know what I Maybe desire. Try and... You know what I desire. Where does it point? <laughs> <laughs> chip holds it up. And it points directly west. Interesting. Okay, I can see the danger in this. <laughs> I take it. I take it. No, 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 no. What did... What, what does she want with it? I mean, we could just take it and leave, right? Everyone wants something. And no, we can't. We need to see this through. Why don't we ask her? Why do we need to see this through? Her name I is mean, we could just knows. go. Now I mean, we have a, a compass that we... We would take us exactly where we need to go. You, you know? Wanna leave. You want to leave? You want to break this deal? Leave Aslana Maria and dozens oh. of other... Old man Earl. Oh, shit, I forgot about Earl. Who's Earl's gonna make our orange balance. juice? I don't know. Maybe we get Earl, but 
I mean, everybody else here kind of sealed their own fate, right? I... By being here? No. Let's see this through. Let's do what's right. I don't feel good about keeping it. I don't know if we've been doing what's right up to this point, and I don't know if giving her this thing is gonna be right. You know, maybe what's right is just minding our fucking business for once. I mean, I don't... I don't think you'd fully believe that. It'd be nice, though. Right? I mean... Chip, fine. being a hero is about making sacrifices. I'm not a hero, Gil! It, it, I'm not. Anyone can be. Well, maybe I don't want to be. Well, what do you fine. want? I, 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 I don't know. It's fine. Let's, let's go stop them. But we're not giving up this watch. Then what do we do with it? This compass. <laughs> compass, whatever. It's, it's, it's already something. taking effect on you. you literally... What do we do with it? We keep it. This could take us where we need to go. Not where you need to, Chip. Where you want to. And I know there's a difference. Let's start walking out. Because the line was bad out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't say anything. I'm not. That's fine. I'll You're holding on to the compass, right, Gillian? Uh, no, he, I'm holding he on has to it. it. He I'm has it. He's, he, he, was, okay. he was snatching onto it. He's not letting it go, so I'm not going okay. to. Yeah. I'm I'll just going to tell I'll, him that and walk out. I'll keep it hidden away. Yeah. Uh, where before the coffin was mounted and the vines cleared, Gillian, you begin to head out. Uh, the exit of this chamber. Jay, I assume you follow. Yeah, I do. The two of them uh, look at you as you, you uh, are latched onto this compass chip. And you... Want, <laughs> waddle over to your ice crutches which are getting a little watery now as they're starting to melt um they still hold you up <laughs> just really small now you have to like hobble <laughs> <laughs> and uh quietly you all exit this chamber it's another set of steps and that's where we're gonna end the session tonight <sighs> All right, everybody, you've made it to the end of the episode. Now you know what time it is. It's time to give a shout out to our high rollers. That's right, our big ballers, our, our big boys, our, our, our pocket pocket patrol. So let's give a big shout out to Ben Trillian over at the craps table. Oh, playing, playing the game, playing it well. But Ben 10, giving him a run for his money, coming in hot, making, making fat. I don't know how to play craps, uh, but he's doing it. He's doing it really well. Chrysanus Sin over at the blackjack table. Oh, but hang on now. I think Buttery Toast might be bluffing. I think Buttery Toast might be bluffing, but Jazzy Bagpiper definitely sees right through it. Sees right through this, this facade. But Iridescent Cakes has no idea what's happening and just sat down at the blackjack table because they didn't know what else to do. But that doesn't stop Viridin from coming in hot with the, with the, with the, Double, I don't know how to play blackjack either. I'm not a gambler, but they, Veridin wins. Veridin won the game. Oh man, that's crazy. But over at the slot machine, that win pales in comparison to the jackpot that Cat Aesthetic just got. Oh shit, you should have seen all the coins coming out of that machine. Creepy Reaper was looking a little jealous. I think they're I think they're gonna come in and maybe take a couple of those coins, but Cake Vape Master 69 would never let that happen because they are gonna stop any robberies from taking place in this casino. Cake Vape Master knows what to do in situations like this. But Kirby Wafro does not because they have immediately taken to screaming and running around. They may have taken something, I don't know. Who's to say? Who's to, maybe they're just like crazy. Who knows that? Who knows? I don't know. You don't know. We don't know. They're just Kirby Wafro being Kirby Wafro. Who's to say? Why are you judging? Let him live. You let him live. I'm gonna let him live. What are you doing? Luna Sophie. Oh man, oh man. Over there serving the drinks out to the folks. You love to see it. Who, who could have a casino without a bartender? And then the King of Ranch set up his own little bar, uh, just serving ranch to the members of the casino. Anon don't read or acknowledge, hiding in the corner, doesn't want to be read or acknowledged, but we are acknowledging anyway, because that is just how she goes in the casino. Sometimes you just got to roll the dice. Serene is actually a skeleton rattling their bones all the way on down to the, uh, what's another gambling thing? What's another, how do you, what is a gambling thing? Gambling thing. Hang on, I got this, one second. One second. Bingo! Headed down to the bingo table. That's right. Can't, can't have all that craziness, all that 
all that stuff like that rattling your bones on over to the bingo table but it looks like indy mindy nine has got five in a row and that's gonna give the bingo game to indy mindy nine but you know your loon is not happy about this so it's time it's time for retaliation it seems like a fight has broken out and gillian's biggest fan is now just body slamming people throughout the entire place rishiznivy is using the chaos to take the coins that they can and just get away with as much money as possible cornier comet is trying to hold the situation down make sure everyone's not getting too rowdy but it looks like it's getting too out of place because jumpiest venus has started destroying all the machines it looks like your gal pal valerie v has taken the blackjack dealer and tied him up and and is and is now and is now becoming the new blackjack dealer but does not know how to play the game so it looks like edgy moss and charmer the bard sitting at the blackjack table are in for a real ride over there but that would never stop riker kurotu from doing that you know the machine where you hit the thing with the with the with the hammer doing that one and he's killing it he's killing the game mostly because he's got that cool name it's like a mortal kombat name it's awesome that should be a Mortal Kombat name. It just should. Zigzag Sugar walking into the casino, seeing all this bullshit and walking right out, but walking right past Nonslottle, who's coming in ready for the chaos. But that that is very opposite to Asterian Nix, who thought this was a Chuck E. Cheese. But it is not. It is now a casino that is now on fire thanks to Salutation. Who is, who is setting little fires in the corner. And JRWI Enjoyer is trying to put it out, but secretly just wants it to go all up in flames. And Jay Newell, our owner of this casino, watches on in horror. Anyway, thank you so much for making it to the end of the episode. We will catch you in the next one.